Hello everyone, welcome to the Anonymous NEET PG Mentor channel. I am a guy from Delhi. I gave my NEET PG 2021 and I secured an AIR of under 350. Then I made this channel anonymously to help my fellow NEET PG aspirants. So in this video, I'll be telling you about how to revise surgery for NEET PG 2022. Surgery is a very, very important topic and you can expect uh, around 15 to 17 questions easily. For people who have done the multiple revisions of surgery, I suggest you go for one full revision, each and every topic, each and every line in the December to January revision schedule and you should take a maximum of 5 to 6 days. Uh, in the February schedule, you should go for uh, one revision of important topics and previous year questions only and you should take a maximum of 3 to 4 days or maybe 5 days and uh, in the month of March, that is just before the paper, you should only revise the scoring the classification and all the factual information that is investigation of choice treatment of choice and you should keep doing mcqs at least of the important topics as much as you can they always help if you have just read surgery for the first time you should go for two to three revisions two to three revision cycles of only the important topics and the previous year questions and you should take around five to six days for that and you should go for mcqs if possible and in the last week, again, scoring and factual knowledge. If you haven't finished reading just once, uh, first of all, you should finish reading as soon as possible. And uh, you should go for one proper revision of the important topics and the previous year questions and take five to six days for that. And revise the scoring and the factual knowledge in the last week of March. So as I said, surgery is a very important topic with 15 to 17 questions. This is a breakdown of the questions which will be asked topic wise. Uh, you can take a screenshot and as you can see these five are the most important topics and uh, these five are a bit less important but in no way any topic should be left the entire subject is very important now whenever you revise surgery I'll what what I used to do is I used to revise surgery I used to revise surgery and I used to divide it into two parts one is GIT surgery and one is everything else other than GIT so keep this in mind that from surgery from the 17 questions of surgery it can be divided into two parts 12 questions and 5 questions these 12 questions would be from everything else apart from surgery apart from GIT surgery and these 5 questions will be from GIT so whenever you start revising surgery you should always revise everything else except GIT so you keep GIT aside and revise surgery entirely. In this way, you have safeguarded your 12 questions. And when you, re when you revise everything else and come to GIT, only five questions are left. And I can assure you out of these five questions, the three questions that will be asked will be very easy. And you will be, you'll be able to crack it even without, even without, you know, many revisions. And two questions will be difficult, which you will not, you know, regret losing. So whenever you start surgery, always finish everything else, give it time, finish it properly so, so you can safeguard your 12 questions and then go for GIT. And whenever you are starting GIT, always start with the important topics which have been asked again and again and then go to the non-important topics. So summing it up, uh, first revise the entire surgery except GIT, then go for GIT's important topics and then glance over the remaining topics. This is how you should revise surgery smartly. Uh, and you should do MCQs as, as much as possible for active learning. Now, whenever I used to revise surgery, I used to give it six days. Uh, day one, I used to finish GUT. Day two, I used to go for general and trauma. Day three, I used to go for breast, thyroid, endocrine and hernia. Day four, I used to go for specialization surgery, head and neck surgery, miscellaneous and vascular. Miscellaneous includes uh, lungs, mediastinum, spleen, etc. And two days, day five and six in the end, I used to give for GIT. And in this, first I used to study the important topics and the previous year questions. And then I used to glance over all the non-important topics. So in this way, you can finish the entire surgery in six days. And in, the in further revisions, you can decrease your days to maybe three or four also. Now, this is my handmade list for important topics of surgery. Uh, you can take a screenshot but keep in mind that in no way this list is exhaustive so whenever you see a topic which has been asked repeatedly or which is very important according to you you should add 
in this list but they, these topics are absolutely necessary to revise before the exam so starting from breast and thyroid and parathyroid then GUT that is genito urinary tract then coming to trauma vascular hernia then coming to general specialization surgery which includes bariatric surgery transplant surgery pediatric surgery then head and neck surgery and miscellaneous and the last will be git surgery so i hope this video was uh, useful to you uh, i would like to know your feedback about what to add in these revision videos because i'll be making such revision videos for all the 19 subjects uh, i hope this helps all the best Thank you and see you in the next video.